You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, riches to me. You are my peace, yes you are, peace like no other. Peace like no other, riches to me. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you lift me up, you lift me up. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name you lift me up you lift me up in christ alone my hope is found he is my lord my king my joy oh my goodness oh La 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 till he returns or calls me home there in the power of Jesus Christ I stand and that's why I'm also going to sing I'm made for more there's no stopping me now i'm made for more you need to understand i carry god don't you dare hold me back i'm taking nations i'm made for more there's no stopping me now i'm made for more you need to understand I carry God and no holding me back. I'm taking nations. I'm made for more supernatural things. I'm made for more for my Lord and my King. I carry God. Don't you dare hold me back. I'm taking nations. Yes, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Father. You told me this year is my year to shine on for you. Yes, because I'm made for more. Yes, because I carry you. Yes, because the Holy Spirit lives in me. Father, I come before you this morning in total thanksgiving. I just want to thank you for my lives. I want to thank you for our relationship, Father. It keeps growing, Father God, from glory to glory, all for your glory. Father God, may it continue to manifest itself. So when people see me, they know that I carry you, Papa. And I'm not afraid to say I will carry you. I am not afraid to say I hear from you. I am not afraid to say we have a wonderful relationship. Oh, Father, this is years of building it. This is years of laboring. This is years of going through trials and tribulations, and they keep coming. Father God, but I am ready, Papa. I told you since 2020, I was ready. I have put my hand on the plow and I am not looking back. Oh, Papa, I carry you. I carry you. Yes, let those supernatural things happen. Yes, Father, for the advancement of your kingdom. Oh, God, I bless your holy name. And Papa, I know I'm not the only one who goes through this because they carry you. And they dare say it boldly that they carry you. We are just so grateful, Father God, for the assurance in your word, especially this morning as you reassure me once again thank you so much for, for for last night father god thank you so much for everything papa i pray i pray for all your children all over the world some who are so yoked some who are so scared to stand out on their own because they have to continue be, uh, being at the beck and call of a mere mortal father god oh my goodness send another moses to set your people free or oh, are they already Moses around and nobody's listening to them because they don't have mega platforms and all of those things? Father, 
It's all for you. Oh. It's all for you. It's your name that is on stake. Oh. Papa, continue. Continue to fortify your servants wherever they may be. May they listen. May they listen to your voice. May they listen to your voice. May they have the serenity and the discernment that I pray for each day to know which way leads to you and which way leads to destruction of their ministries and of their callings and everything. And may they have this heart, Father God, to do unto others what they will want others to do unto them. Oh, Father, myself included, continue to breathe on me. Continue to breathe on me. Use me, O oh Lord. Use me just as you will. And even when I don't I don't think that I'm ready to let go, Father, tell, teach me, remind me, you said you were ready. You were not bargaining with me. And so when I say let go, you let go immediately. Father God, I count on you. I count on you. Without you, I cannot do nothing. Yes, Father God, the power of your grace is what keeps me going. The power of your grace, the fullness of your grace, the power of the name of Jesus. Oh my goodness, it is blood. The price he paid for me. Father God, I know I'm not alone. And so I pray for my servant. I pray for all those all over the world who are trying to do things for you, to conquer nations in your name, for your glory. Father God, and for one reason or the other, they are bridled. They are held back by men, not by you. Oh, Father God, when the maturing is done, Father God, release, release the fresh anointing. I pray, Papa. I thank you. I thank you, Father, because I feel it. I'm so grateful for all the lessons I learned, Papa. I bless those people who teach me those lessons. Whether they were tough lessons or the easy lessons and all of that, I just bless them. I thank you, Father God. You know my heart. You know our hearts, Father God. Continue to do it. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come and have your way. Continue to blow, Holy Spirit, Spirit of the living God. Continue to blow. Have your way in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this morning. Amen. Awesome God, Almighty God, I give you praise. Awesome God, you are an awesome God, Mighty God. Oh. I serve a God who is mighty. This God is a good God. I will call him a miracle. Look, the Lord reveals his things to babies, to children, to everybody in his word and everywhere. And frankly speaking, in this particular season of my life, God has been revealing things to me through different ways and it takes a lot of sensitivity to 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 watch all of those things to receive it all and give you all the glory papa so this is morning devotion i hope everyone is doing fine our morning devotion is taken from the book of second chronicles chapter 15 verse 7 second chronicles chapter 15 verse 7 i'm using the devotional faith checkbook by charles Spurgeon. The Lord put it on my heart to use this devotion, right? So, um, the title of the devotion for today is God Can Make You Strong. Did you know that God can make you strong? Yes, I know. He is my strength. What, what power do I have? Look at me. <laughs> Don't have much power. So, my strength is in the Lord who made heaven and earth. Be strong and do not lose courage, for there is reward for your work. And I remember he said the same thing to Joshua, to Gideon. 
Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. He says the same thing today. So why am I not going to receive it? Yes, the Lord says it to me. Somebody else doesn't need to tell me that the Lord can make me strong and courageous. No, his word says it. And I study his word and I claim it for myself and I proclaim it and I claim it in the mighty name of Jesus. God has done great things for King. God had done great things for King Asa and Judah. But yet they were a weak people. Oh my goodness. They were very unsteady in the ways of the Lord. And their hearts were very hesitant. So they had to be warned that the Lord would be with them while they were with him. But that if they forsook him, he will leave them. We still have people today in this world who want to be with the Lord, no doubt. But for some reason, they are so afraid to come out. Probably because they are afraid of what man will say. Maybe their spiritual authority, you know, or even about their own capacity, capabilities. You know, they are not so sure. Is it time? Isn't it time? You know, some people go to um, seminary and Bible school and there, the, the discipline, I haven't been there. But I've heard from a few people who have been there. It's so rigid. And one of my <laughs> small brothers or stuff was telling me, that he went to Bible school. They started out maybe 33 and they ended up 7. And I was like, what do they teach in Bible school to the point where so many people would drop out like that? Is that how serving God is supposed to be so difficult to even just pass an exam? Although passing that exam doesn't mean that you are ready. Because frankly speaking, only God knows the heart. Somebody can go to Bible school, go to theology school, get a PhD and all of those things. And there's nothing about God in all what they are doing in short they're doing all of that so they can come out with all of those titles and make their money you know it's a business for some so ha huh, we need to be very careful though some of us are standing here and talking we haven't been to no bible or theology school and sometimes some people will be like social media preachers and i want to say yes i'm a social media preacher and i'm very proud to be one and nobody is stopping me nobody is holding me back as long as i'm not begging for data from somebody you know, and it's not somebody's phone I'm using. It's not somebody's Bible I'm reading from. And it's not somebody's Jesus I'm talking about. There's enough Jesus for all of us. I'm going to continue doing this. And nobody is stopping me. Nobody is holding me back. Not at this age of 44. But some other people, well, they just sit there. You know, sit until they tell you you can talk. Thank God we have social media today. You don't need to go to a church and... You know, participate there until they say, okay, you're the one who is going to minister today. And then you you say, you thank all the thank, and then, and then after that, for the next one year, nobody is giving you the microphone again. Stand before your phone. Let them laugh at you. So what? God is not laughing at you. The fact that he's blessing you where you are should already tell you that he's pleased in what you are doing. So keep doing it. Okay. And you have to stay with him, of course. Because if you leave him, he will leave you if you forsake him because Jesus himself said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I'll be out. Well, how am I going to talk to, you, to my father about you? If you cannot even, I was talking to somebody yesterday and said, no, now I am a Christian this, I am that, I am that. And I want Christ to be part of the message in my center. So I'm not going to neutralize it and make it shallow and say, no, it's for, no, 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 I just want to be, this is a Christian center. You want to come there, you come. You don't want to come there, don't come. I cannot. This is where I am in my life right now. I cannot. I, I don't compromise. Okay. They were also reminded of the sister kingdom, how poorly Israel made out in its rebellion, and how the Lord was gracious to them when repentance was shown. So that's the key word, repentance. Repentance. Sometimes men make it about them. Make it about repenting to them. Make it about apologizing to them. If I even say I'm sorry to you and in my heart I am not sorry, what's the point? I seriously owe it first of all to God in my sacred place, in my room at midnight to release my of all my clothes, everything, lie down on the floor and repent and then hold my mouth. And then I can tell you I am sorry and I genuinely mean I am sorry. Okay. And of course be grateful. The Lord's plan was to confirm them in his way and make them strong in righteousness. Oh yeah. It should be the same way with us. It should be the same way with us. Are you standing in the way of somebody having such an experience and encounter with God? 
must it always be about only to me if not to me then no you know sometimes whilst when i was contemplating the ministry of uh, all of those people you know the fivefold ministries one of them was that they should be able to identify the gifts in their members and um, and encourage them you know nurture them not stifle them and and, and and say some kind of things that would leave them frustrated and maybe just stay there in some shallow you know that some people who come to you with already a calling nurture it then if you don't want to nurture it of course they will leave you know and um, you can say whatever you want to say to or about them but what is certain is that if the lord is with them the lord will be be with them all the way he was with moses he was with joshua he was with abraham he was with gideon he was with mary Mandela. he has been with people and he will continue to be and he is with me okay if the service of god no god deserves to be served with all the energy of which we are capable yes and i have so much energy if the service of god is worth anything it is worth everything yes it is what even giving up a relationship it is what leaving a place where you thought you have found you thought okay well this is where god wants me to be yes if he sends you there and he says it's time to leave leave because obedience is better than sacrifice no matter how painful just obey trust and obey that's what i did that's what i do we will find our best reward in the lord's work if we do it with determined diligence our labor is not in vain in the the lord first corinthians chapter 15 verse 58 and we know it half-hearted work will not bring a reward but when we throw our whole soul into the course we will see prosperity amen be strong and do not lose courage for there is reward for your work wow be strong and do not lose courage for there is reward for your work mark there's reward for your work Someone sent this verse to me during a time of terrible storm, suggesting to me to put on all steam with the assurance of reaching port in safety with a glorious freight. Yes, Father, thank you so much for your word. This is how we learn. This is how we learn by also sharing our experiences and reading about the experiences of other people. And of course, the word of God It's a lamp to our feet, right? So morning and evening, I am with the word. Throughout the day, I am with the word. And I'm just so grateful. And uh, when you learn, you share. So uh, what I can say is that the Lord has been good. The Lord got me to go through a very intense uh, um, school in two months. And you know, school is not only formal. It can be informal. You have to be very attentive to learn what you have to learn. And when it's time to move on, it's time to move on and uh, we do this i do it with uh, a lot of courage and um, i bless i don't curse i thank god for everything and then um, i'm like okay it's time so i'm so grateful for the experience i had where i was and it's time to move on and um, i'm grateful you know i carry god and when you carry god you don't allow anger and bitterness and envy and jealousy and those kind of things no, those are not fruits of the spirit and i keep inviting the holy spirit every day so nope yesterday i was reading some um 19 my sister princess was doing a chapter a day and yesterday she was on psalm 19 and uh, when i went on live briefly to share what i got i remember that what um really spoke to me that yesterday was the last verse of that psalm actually yeah, I think it's Psalm 19. Yeah, she was in Psalm 19. Yeah, because today will be Psalm 20. Yes, verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Yes. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. And so it guides me daily. And I'm like, be careful, be careful. Are those words that can be acceptable to God? Have you said what you had to say? Have you said it in a nice way, polite way, a firm way, no doubt? I, I, should you stop talking now? 
meditate upon it even before you even say something because once you have said it you cannot take it back so um, i'm very grateful for just so much i didn't know it was going to be such a brief journey but that is what it is right and i'm just learning that the lord is taking me somewhere and sometimes you settle somewhere you think you have settled and it's like no 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 no. i didn't send you there to settle i sent you there to learn to deliver a message to uh, and then to leave i carry god don't you dare hold me back i'm taking nations i'm made for more there's no stopping me now i'm made for more you need to understand i carry god i know stopping me now i'm taking nations this is a song by victoria pastor victoria orenze and i was listening to it this morning and it was ministering to me a lot even the one that i, I used during my exhortation last night or oh, what was the name my lord and my master my god and my master frankly speaking the good god he directs steps if you just surrender to him if you submit to him to him to god first to god before to any man god puts on your path but first to god he's going to direct your path to the point where even if that man wants to stop you or hold you back god is going to tell you no 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 let's keep going so i'm just so grateful for everything father thank you so much father thank you for this ministry thank you father for this strength and this courage thank you so much lord what can i say unto you all i want to say is thank you lord yes my gratitude will not cease it doesn't matter who is listening to me it doesn't matter who gives me a platform father god thank you for social media thank you that i can use it this way to glorify your name Thank you so much, oh my Lord and my King. I just bless you, Father. I bless you. There's no like you. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. When you say go, we go. When you say speak, we speak. When you say shut up, we shut up. Father God, that's my testimony. I, I give you all the glory. I lift my eyes up to you, oh Lord. You are the love of my life. I look all, 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 I look at you, Father, you. You changed my story, Jesus. And so, yes, no one is holding me back. No one is stopping me now. Whether they understand or they don't understand. It's you. It's you I'm following. Lead, Papa. Lead, 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 lead. Teach me. Continue to teach me. Continue to mold me. Continue to break me. Continue to fill me up. Thank you for all those who have taught me. Thank you. Yes, Father God. Thank you so much. I just want to thank you. I praise you, Father God. I praise you. I bless your holy name. For this voice that you gave me, Father, I bless your holy name. Meet each of them at the point of need. Convict them in the way you have to convict them, Father God. You know the, heart, the desires of my heart concerning these children. I just want to bring them up in the way they should go. So when they go, they do not depart from me. I count only on you. In the fullness of your grace, Father God, I do all I do. I thank you so much for your providence. I thank you for good health, Papa. I thank you for my family. I thank you for my mother, for my father, for my sisters, Father God. I thank you for my niece and my niece, my nieces and my nephews. I thank you for my in-laws. I thank you for my friends, Father God. I thank you for the sisters, especially the sister who joined us and said yesterday, Father, we are now three of us. We started out two of us. I lift it all up to you. You're the one who said I should start this, Father God, so we can evolve together. Take all the glory, Papa. Continue to increase while I decrease. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Continue to have your way. Continue to blow, 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 blow. May your fruits be manifest in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this morning. Amen. Okay, tribe, thank you so much. Today is Friday, right? So this is the last morning devotion for this week. We will continue next week, Monday to Friday. I will minister tomorrow. I thank God already for what he's put on my heart. And in the evening, I do evening devotions. I put it on TikTok. 
and I also share it on my different platforms. Until then, God bless us all. Have a fabulous Friday and a wonderful weekend ahead.